I, I, I just feel that why hasn't it happened yet? Right. Especially when you look at like North American circles. Why is it that I feel like someone like Moist Critical putting out a video where he's talking about season two of Promise Neverland? He's eating our food. You know, like, obviously, like, the pie is big enough for everyone to talk about things, but you have small creators who are actually putting in a lot of effort visually, and they may not make money, like you said, like, things will get demonetized, but they'll have a real strong video talking about why this is, why this isn't good, or why this may be good, and you haven't looked at it yet, and from that perspective, and they may have, like, a community of friends where they help edit, and they make a cameos in their videos but they're not growing and they're not able to make these into careers but then you have moist critical who as much as i love his content i think charlie's very funny and talented he, he he's putting up a video that one video with him talking to his camera casually will have more than any tubers for the last two years they've been putting in so much effort to push out videos and it's like at what point are we going to say like look we need to do something differently as a community maybe we need to focus less on the drama and trying to like tear down other small creators and maybe we need to come together and build up one another i don't know what it is but i i'm hoping there is some change eventually are, are they tearing down small creators? That's something that I haven't heard. It's like, can you elaborate? Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't like I, I don't want to throw out names and I, I won't. But like I put images on my videos anyway. So you'll see a lot of times you'll see creators talk about someone else. Like creator A has 12,000 subscribers. Creator B has 9,000 subscribers and maybe just growing their Twitter and they'll get into like a war. And I can't help but feel like this is either the dumbest argument that they're having about someone's opinion on a video or it's manufactured for the drama. It has to be one or the other because a conversation like this wouldn't happen in real life where two people who are trying to grind and they're just starting to get a little bit of spark with their content and then you want to attack them and then attack their character. Character assassination is very real with any tubers I find and when you get to forums or you get to subreddits all of a sudden you have people who are not just talking bad about a video they start talking bad about the person's entire channel or they'll they'll attack them for reasons that have nothing to do with why they disagree with them and like I said like it's the internet it empowers people to say things that they wouldn't say to other people's uh, faces and anime isn't that big of a deal to get hyped up over it but like I've also mentioned like, I do this for a living I, I'm a social media manager it's an annoying job but it's a job where I get to see all of the ugliness of the internet and all the capabilities of uh, brands and creators and the effort people take into tearing down others or creating videos where they're just attacking someone's video why don't you put in as much effort to create a video that challenges what that person does instead of just tries to tear it down or instead of having a two hour long podcast where you're talking about why these creators within this particular anime community are all problematic explain why you think the issue of the series is problematic how does that attract other anti-tubers and what their commentary may be and don't create evergreen content that's going to be insulting someone's name because it's very hard on the internet especially our small community to grow past an opinion and three years later people are still in your comment section talking about something that you said so many years ago to me it's disgusting i, I don't know okay i probably have missed this part maybe i'm not really into that that uh, subsection of anime like i know like a few uh, uh, any tubers that like, uh, I don't know if you know uh, Shapes by uh, Karibu Kun, uh, who does like the weekly anime digests. Yeah. Um, I'm also in like in the, his Discord server. Yeah. And like sometimes the things that they say about like um, anime or like other any tubers, I'm like, what what are you even talking about? But they're mostly, their biggest problem is like the biggest YouTubers. Like they have like a lot of problems with like Gigguk and the guys from Trash Taste. Not not saying that Karibu Kun himself or uh, let's just come shapes. Like not saying that shapes himself has like problems with that because he seems like a very like right uh, guy with like a good head on his shoulders. Like he like he has a very good grasp on like the any tube community on like what what makes one one video good, what makes one other video bad. So and he's not the one that like is engaging in the like oh no this YouTuber is like really problematic. No, but um but a lot of like the audience that he has collected um is kind of like very i don't i don't know how to call it i i don't want to say elitist because 
it's like the reverse in this. Like they don't they don't want the ones at the top, but they feel like the ones at the bottom that put like thousand hours like um, researching the toenail of this certain anime moe girl. Um, that they want like we we make actual informal informal videos like that nobody gives you shit about the, the information that you give like like in general like people want to be entertained and if they want to be entertained by information or they want to be entertained by comedy like the the audience will decide and if you look at like the top end tubers like you see that sir there's a big reason why gigguk is one of the biggest like with two million subscribe three million subscribers at this point like he's funny but he also gives information is information always correct i don't know like that's that's the thing like but a lot of like the videos he talks about are more opinion based than factual based that's why i don't have a big problem with him being occasionally wrong because i don't take his videos as gospel and a lot of other like i don't know if a lot of other people do that and that's why it's problematic but like you have guys that are purely informational and that's like super eye pitch wolf or modest basement and people still bitch about them because they're sometimes wrong yeah no like be, having a lot of subscribers doesn't mean you have a thousand iq suddenly it means you have a bigger audience to to talk to and yeah you should be more wary about the information that you spread and about the misinformation that you spread that's one of the few things that i fought against when i was still a commentary channel but you can't fault someone for like making a mistake making a new video and saying like sorry guys i made a mistake i'm gonna talk i'm gonna uh, do it uh, better this time if they still do it wrong hey no just fucking uh, slap them on the fingers then i, I don't know like like i like I think people care too much about the words of like people they've never met about subjects that in the grand scheme of things don't really matter. Like the, their opinion, like their uh, reason is like, but I don't want people to like insult my hobby. Like no one is insulting your hard hobby. Like they're just like talking, making a fun at the expense of like themselves, which is an anime fan, which you are also an anime fan. And hey, if you're getting insulted by it, cry me a river at that point like I, I i do try to be like have my videos very well researched like everything i say i hope is like 100 correct and factual but i also like my number one goal is to make people enjoy my video and if i have to skew like th this might sound very strange but i have but if i have to skew reality just a little bit so that a joke lands i will skew reality but I will not do that to a point where it harms someone. Like, if I I don't mind if like I make a a anime look better or worse for a joke because it's an anime. Like, and that, that might be the wrong way to look at it for like an anime fan. But I think like if we can't laugh at the things that we love, then do we love it enough? To, that that's that, yeah. Like we have to be critical, sure but we also just have to mellow out a little bit.